Sacha here for Network News.com. Uh, last day of the MWC 2010 in Barcelona, I'm at the Broadcom booth and I'm together here with Martin Humphreys. And Martin, hello, how are you doing today? Hello, doing great, thank you. You've been just showing me a fantastic new tablet uh, ecosystem and infrastructure. Could you please tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, I'd be happy to do. Um, so uh, over here we have uh, what, what we believe the, the tablet market should really be. There's a lot of talk about tablets today um, and, and really I think the key, to, the key to the future of tablets for them to be successful is they can become part of your home ecosystem. So what we've done is we've created a platform called Persona as you can see here. It can do voice and video, information, gaming, home control, share content and uh, control and work with an IP set top box. It's important that uh, people think in, in terms of ICE, ICE platforms, which is information, communication, entertainment. This has to be a device that when you walk into your home, it's the device you're gonna pick up. This is gonna be a, a life-changing event where instead of having your TV remote or your home telephone, you're gonna wanna go pick up this device and start to control your life, start to, right. to do the things in your home. So you have a little setup over here, right? Could you maybe show this to us? Yeah, so what, what we have here, this is the Broadcom reference design. And inside here we have applications processors, our DSPs, uh, all our video processing, uh, Bluetooth, wireless LAN, GPS, everything you would need uh, to be in a tablet. So this is really the, the superset device. And we also believe there'll be a scalable range of these products from yeah. very low cost to very high end solutions. What we've got here, if you look at an IP set top box, I don't have a, a live IP, IP stream here at the show this week, but you can imagine that this could be your, your television uh, menu, your stations, yeah. okay? Um, we've created something called Picture Out of Picture. Everybody knows what Picture in Picture is. It's that right. annoying thing that everybody's watching TV and you start flipping channels and, and going through and looking at different things. Yeah. What we can happen is everybody can continue watching TV. You can use the tablet to, to go and search through your directories and other programs. And I want to demonstrate Picture Out of Picture. This could also be connected to a NAS device, but basically, this would be home networked and uh, you would see all the devices in your network. This could be your IP set-top box stream mm -hmm. or the stream from your cable modem. Uh, it could be a NAS, what, what's on your NAS. It could be somebody running a PC and having pictures and content. And you basically can bring that in. You can see here, I've just got a few things running. Okay. Um, let's go over to this one here um, and I'll show you some of the content. So imagine that this is my, uh, this is my content. So here, what I've got, uh, I've got movies. HD, yeah. 70, uh, 720p HD movies, but we'll also can do 1080p as well. Okay. Um, this could be a live TV stream, or this could be content. And I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to watch Batman here, and I'm going to. Uh, this is this would show all the televisions in my house, all the devices I could play okay. content on. And then I'm going to use DLNA, and DLNA is going to push this content to this television over here. As you can see, I've just pushed over to this TV, and now I'm playing the movie. So I've got everybody settled down. We're all enjoying the Batman movie. Then yeah. I'm going, okay, what's happening on the sporting event somewhere? I've got the tablet in my lap, but I come back and I, I go to find some other content, and here it is, and I go, okay, let's go see. I'm gonna local play, I'm not gonna disturb anybody else, I'm not gonna channel flip. And now the tablet's controlling the content onto the TV, but also I'm looking at uh, other content locally on my lap. Fantastic. All through DLNA. Um, in terms of other other types of things that we can do, um, obviously we talked about video conferencing. It's going to be a really big thing. Yeah, that was really cool. We have here um, we're running Android, and, uh, and and I'm going to make a phone call to somebody on my network. It could be Skype. It could be some other proprietary SIP type protocol. And I'm making a call here, as you can see. I'm going to answer that call. And, it's and now we're doing two-way video. And it's a video actually, conference call. And now it's a video conference call. HD audio and HD video. So this is really, you know, again, That's thinking fantastic. about all the things in your home that you're controlling. And, and it would be a case of, this can do a lot of multitasking. Yeah. So if, let's say that you're on a video call um, and something, you know, you wanted to turn, turn the sound of the television down, you could move something to one side of the screen, go into that widget, change sound. Or, uh, or, or look at some other content. So again, it's very, very capable because it has uh, applications processes actually in the main heart of the chip right. as well as the co-processors that can deal with that. It's pretty, it's pretty important to point it out you know, in these days that it uh, supports multitasking uh, and flash. So. Yes. Yeah, we actually, we, we obviously uh, do work closely with, with Adobe 
and okay. we can support uh, the, the latest Flash releases. So here are just some samples of a future device and how, how it could look like, right? Well, actually, no, this, this, this is actually a device that um, uh, has been announced by NTT in Japan. Okay. And this is going to production later this year. And th this is really represents a very, very simple concept of, of the home tablet. Um, it's using a resistive touch screen, uh, but oh, yeah. it's really quite responsive. And we're actually developing our own touch uh, technology as well. Uh, it's got a browser. I think like uh, everybody, uh, yeah, everybody talks about browsing, and obviously, you know, it's taken as read that it can be a browser. Now, clearly, as you can see here, um, this is this is actually over a Wi-Fi network, and uh, you know, it's it's a reasonable browsing speed. Again, for the home application, I'm not trying to replace a PC. Right. 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 This is this is actually a, a device that's connecting me in the home. Connecting and you even have a little reference design for maybe a, a future gaming console. Yeah. So this is this is from ASCII, um, and uh, they're, they're, they're part of the the Pegatron Azus group, and uh, yeah. and this uh, this is their concept again, running Android, where you'd actually have gaming buttons and that type of thing. Um, so so that's really where we are with with that. And again, very importantly, here you can see uh, today it's a chipset, and obviously we're continuing the integration. But we have the actual Persona applications processor. We have the coprocessor for all the video. So we can do 720p or 1080p, depending on price point preferences. We have the wireless LAN 4329, which is Bluetooth uh, wireless LAN combo. We have GPS. And the most important thing about this is once you go into somebody's home, you know, we've got a lot of experience working with providers. If, if you actually have a situation where you're using a device in the home and there's a problem, and, and the consumer has to make a phone call to the carrier, yeah. the carrier's losing money. Absolutely. So the most important thing about this concept is that Broadcom has all of the connecting everything technology. We, we have the chipsets and we have the software, we have the stacks, everything you would need to make that ecosystem reliable, the coexistence, all the work that has to go into that. Chip revisions, firmware re revisions, we're yeah. involved in all that. Yeah. So we're delivering to our customers um, a, a complete and, 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 and guaranteed platform that's going to give uh, a home user a very good experience. Martin, do you have any idea when we can expect this device in the market or this infrastructure? So, uh, yeah, a lot of companies, I, again, I can't tell you uh, yeah, all the sure, companies sure. that are working on this, but as you see, the NTT one's being announced. You'll see more announcements later this year, and I think uh, in the next, within the next two or three years, many people will be uh, walking through their doors and looking for the tablet to, to start controlling their lives at home. Fantastic, Martin. Thank you so much. Very interesting ecosystem. Thank, thanks for coming by.